I'm proud that the three of us sat and planted a lot of seeds. We did, we planted a lot of seeds that have grown into the kind of services that POTS offers today. POTS is a loving community in the Bronx, striving to serve all who come to our doors. From meeting immediate needs to offering long-term comprehensive services, we partner with each individual to empower them to reach their potential. When I first started working with Maria, she came from a place that was very unstable. She was already a mom of older children. They were no longer in the home. They're already doing well for themselves. And suddenly she had this conflict, which she turned into a blessing, which was taken in her brother. And her overall goal was to provide a better future for him. So when the pandemic hit, I had to quit my job because now I have a uh, my little brother with me, no school, no nothing. It was keep working or be at home with him. And I had to quit my job after 14 years because he need a special classroom and stuff. At the time she was living at a shelter. For a lot of children and families, there's so much discouragement that comes from experiencing that. They express not feeling seen as humans, as people. It's more of just a case, a number for the system. For him, it was hard, like he couldn't go to sleep sometime at night because people would not understand that he had to get up early to go to school and making noise and screaming and smell and stuff like that. Like he was like, oh Maria, when are we gonna get out of here? Because he's, he was not used to none of that, like the smell and stuff like that. We kept our room clean, but we cannot control the, what is our, around it. And, it's, sometimes it's frustrated, you know, and it's, it's hard, it's tough. You have to have like, you know, strong will to survive all that because it's not easy. I've been working with more clients that are in shelters that have updated me that they are soon to sign a lease. And they get excited and they tell me these um, stories in order to provide, just receive more support, whether that is also furniture assistance or just like childcare um, payments for the children while the parents themselves are trying to find employment that's more secure. The same day I signed my lease to get to my new apartment, she was like, yeah, come. And she provide for us bed and furniture. And not only that, but you know, she talked, you know, real. Sometimes when you alone, you need, you know, somebody to talk to you like family, you know. Not only that, but since she got all of the resources in place for his um, achievement further along, she is also able to focus on her growth. And she knows that this is not like, there's so much more for her as well. It's not just her focus on the child. Thanks to Pat, I'm worry free about all that stuff and I can concentrate on better things like focusing on him and, you know, on myself and I'm doing pretty good, thank God, <laughs> and thank to Pat. <laughs>